Welcome back everybody in part 2 of this tutorial desktop fishing in the last tutorial we defined desktop fishing and we talked about the things that you need to uh, perform this attack today we will install no IP at one so we sign up in this website which is uh, no IP.com that you'll find on the description really basic uh, sign up after that we go to download and download the client which is less than uh, one megabyte and after finishing that we go to sign in after finishing the sign up we go to sign in and go to our account type your name and password we go to sign in and as you can see i already made a host so i will remove it and make a new one add the host from here you choose a host name it really doesn't matter i'll choose tb tutorials and do scroll down click on add host great as you can see our host is ready this is the domain name and this is its uh, respective ip after finishing that we install the client that we already downloaded really the uh, fast installation after that we make our uh, login again so the name and the password sign in and this is the client we choose the host that we already made and as you can see we have three green indications which means that our no ip is ready and from here you can choose your uh, new host if you want you can download a uh, wamp from here but i really don't recommend it because i already put one in the description and i want you to have the same version as i do for a simple reason the configuration depends on the version so this is my version 2.4 you can download it from the description or you will find it on google it's up to you but i recommend download this version 2.4 so really classic uh, installation next next from here choose directory next create the desktop icon and install really basic installation it really doesn't take long about one minute two minutes max so our back uh, soon so i'm back from here you choose the file name doesn't really matter next and next again and finish and as you can see here we have a red icon that will turn uh, green that means our server is ready to go uh, we click on that icon and uh, we go up and we choose localhost to see our page if you see this one the home page of web server that means that your server is online but only on your local computer so next we go to directory and from here you choose uh, the uh, index file that we will show if we go to localhost so I will change this all this content belongs to the home page of one so I will delete it and I will type anything for instance uh, hello world and I'll save it go back again and refresh local oops my bad I messed up echo I typed B instead of O and save again and refresh so it works hello world we got hello world on a local server on our uh, computer now we back uh, one and we go to apache http d.conf from here we make some changes that I already uh, prepared for you you can find it in the description the first one is the listen which is the port that you will choose it really depends uh, on your router you can check if the port is open we go to test port so as you can see you should find apache 2.4.4 if you find any other software you have to close it in order to use that port next server name localhost uh, 80 and uh, these two lines after that in the end we find these lines and we are done with the configuration now we back to the configuration file and we search for this so find not this one not this one this one 
so it's already 8 you should find it this way and you should keep it this way next one server name you should find it localhost so we add point 80 not this one yes this one so it's localhost you should find it localhost 2 so change it to localhost 80 and we add these two lines to allow external connection uh, to uh, see our uh, website so we search for it uh, search for order so there it is it's order deny allow and just under it deny from all we will change these lanes with these two lanes all right these are the two lanes we will paste it here and finally let's make it ordered now we scroll to the end you should find this line include c map alias and under that you will add this block of code really easy and paste here and we are done with the configuration now let's test if our server is online we go to this website that make sure website is accessible by all the users so we back to no ip and paste the server name surf oops there is a problem where it is ah yeah i didn't uh, refresh the one so the new uh, uh, the new uh, configuration will take place so close that one and I will make I will refresh the one so the new configurations will take place let's try again and it's working perfectly so just to make sure let's try it with this website and it's just you it's up so our website is up and ready to use great uh, now all what we need is this link or this ip we try with this ip as i told you every domain name has its uh, ip and we can access the domain name with this ip and as you can see it's working and you can access this IP through your computer for a simple reason it will confuse it with your router address if you want to see it locally you go to localhost and as you can see you can check your website that you will put on that directory c wamp www that directory where you put all your files that you want to show in the website so as you can see thanks to WAMP we successfully made a local host and using no IP we made this local host accessible to all the other computers in the world. Uh, this is a great way if you are a web developer or a web designer to show uh, your work to your clients without having to pay much money for a server. Sorry guys because my voice is a little bit off because I'm recording this video way too late and I don't want to wake my neighbors up. At the end don't forget to share and subscribe to support this channel for more awesome tutorials coming in the future and stay tuned for the part 3 of this video that you already can see in the screen or, or on the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and goodbye.